Hey everyone, welcome to another video lesson from navigationtrading.com. In this video, I wanna show you how to compare different market sectors on Thinkorswim. So this is a little bit of a trade hack, just to give you a quick reference, if you wanted to ever compare some of the different market sectors to each other in a quick snapshot. So the first thing we're gonna do is go up to this little three bar drop down and we're gonna detach our chart screen. And we'll bring that back down into range here for the video. Let me size this up for you. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to studies and we're gonna edit studies. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to clear off all the different studies there, okay? So hit okay. And then we're also gonna de-link this from our other symbols in TA. So, so we're just looking at SPY. And then the other thing I like to do is change this from a candlestick to a line chart, okay? So that's the S&P 500 SPY. So what we wanna do is we wanna compare the S&P 500 in this example to other market sectors. And you know the S&P 500 is made up of 12 different sectors, I think. And so if you want to add each of those or just add a few of them to your chart to get a quick snapshot, this is how you do it. So you just go to studies, edit studies, and then over here, start typing in comparison and that comparison will pop up and then you click on that and add it and that'll bring it over to here and then we're going to go ahead and add a bunch of them so we're going to add let's just say i don't know that's enough just for this example you can, can go in and do it as much as you want but then we're going to go into the settings spin wheel grinder wheel and we're going to change the secondary security which defaults to SPX, we're gonna change that to the different sectors that we want to compare. So let's compare XLF, which is the financials, and we'll hit okay on that one. And then we'll go in here to the next one and maybe we want to compare energy. So XLE is the sector spider trust ETF for energy. We'll hit okay there. And then we'll go in here and maybe we want to look at real estate. So IYR is the symbol for that. That's the uh, iShares Trust US Real Estate ETF. Hit OK. But then we might want to compare utilities, XLU. Hit OK. And then let's just keep going down the line. Uh, what's another one? Biotech, XBI. Compare that. Uh, XLV is healthcare. Let's put that one in there. XLV, that's healthcare. Let's see, another one is technology, which is XLK. So let's put XLK. Okay, and then let's see a couple more. XLP is consumer staples. XLP, okay. And then, so those are, those are a bunch of the sectors. The other thing you can compare, and you may want to do this separately, but let's say you wanted to compare different regions of the world. So you could put in, for example, obviously SPY represents the U.S., largest 500 stocks in the U.S., but then you could go in and, and choose you know, FXI for China. It's the Chinese large cap uh, ETF. And then you could choose you know, EWZ for Brazil, for example. And so that just gives you some ideas. You, you know, these are things you may want to do separately. Like these are all U.S. sectors that we're comparing. And then I got into foreign ETF. So you may want to do this separately. But for this example, I think you get the idea of how to do that. You're just adding these different comparison uh, studies in here. And then you hit OK. And then the other thing you want to do is you want to compare them over a specific time frame. So if we go up to the settings wheel up here, go to time axis, and let's just compare them over the last year. So you'd set that to one year, hit OK. And then what we want to do is we want to go all the way back to a year and scroll back. Because what this is going to do is whatever time frame you set it on, this is going to start at zero at that period. So this is going back exactly one year in time and setting that back to zero. 
So what I need to do here is I need to remove that and I need to go up to my drawings and just put this on the arrow. And then if you double click on the screen, it'll show the one year time frame all in one screen. And so you can see it starts at zero exactly a year ago. And you can see all the different sectors and other ETFs that we put in here to give you an idea of what's been performing the best, what's been performing the worst, and what's kind of in between. Okay, so then if you want to see kind of which is the best performer, you can just go up and hover over this area here, and then you see it lists them out. So you can see that this top bar is the color of XLU. Uh, you can see the you know the pink line over on the left is XLF. That's that's kind of in the middle. The XLE is the light blue line. You can see that's down at the bottom. So that's been the worst performing. IYR is the pink. XLU, you can see, is the best performer. The yellow is XBI Biotech. And so it, it just gives you a quick snapshot to see which sectors are performing the best, which are performing the worst, and can help give you kind of an assumption or an overall bias of the market. You know, maybe you want to start buying the lowest performing sectors and shorting the highest performing sectors to get a little bit of a contrarian aspect into your trading, or just giving you the knowledge of where each sector has been trading from a performance standpoint is kind of a helpful tool. So hope you like that. Hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. If you want to see all the other stuff we're doing, check us out at navigationtrading.com. See you in the next video.